What is up everybody? Video addict here and I've got a big box. And it's a new box. It's something I've never done before. It's the Irish Central box. I'm so excited. So, I don't know much about this. I've been to their website, I've seen some stuff that they send. Um, they reached out to me, however they found me, I don't know. But they were like, would you be interested in reviewing the box? I was like, absolutely. I love Irish things. I like Irish car bombs. I like, I like Jameson, I like Guinness. Hey, listen, I'm just saying, there's a lot of Irish stuff. I'm not going to even talk about some of the stuff that's probably, I don't know, they would probably, that the Irish people would find offensive because seriously, I mean, I think we've seen, I don't think we need any Lucky charm jokes or ah, oh, top of the morning or anything like that, whatever. I'm not even a good impersonator of that stuff, so let's just, let's just say we did and we didn't, but I kind of did. I don't know. I, if I offended you. Suck it up. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna jump on into this and see what's in here. This is a heavy stinking box, man, and it's big. I'm so excited. I, hey, I am game down for anything, man. I will, I will try anything. I love opening boxes. There's a lot of green in here. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a lot of green. Welcome to Ireland. A little information packet. From our shore to your door, Iris Central wishes you the happiest of St. Patrick's Day with this shipment of our newest box directly to your doorstep, featuring a virtual parade of products that will capture Irish memories and surprise you with the latest discoveries of Ireland's finest handcraft and specialty items. When you receive an Irish Central box in your home, you are welcoming all the best of Ireland. You can be certain that our merchandise experts designed this St. Patrick's Day collection with all the pride and spirit that the holiday brings to mind. Whether you've ordered the Shamrock, Four Leaf Clover, or St. Patrick's box, we truly hope the uniquely Irish items we've chosen for you this season will fill you with joy from the beloved Bewley's tea and beautiful embroidery art and stunning Irish calendar and much, much more. We feel confident that this March, the Irish Central Box will bring the wonder of Ireland into your home. This latest edition of the Irish Central Box is guaranteed to keep the joy of St. Patrick's Day alive in your heart, even during these difficult times. And we at Irish Central hope that the arrival of the St. Patrick's Box becomes a new annual tradition in your home. Irish Central is honored this year to be part of your St. Patrick's Day. And we look forward to delivering our special brand of Irish cheer every season from our shore to your door. When only something from Ireland will do, choose the Irish Central Box. And please remember us when you are thinking of the perfect gift for your family and friends. Real big thing here. Uh, this has levels, just as most you know, boxes do. So what we have here is, this is how it works. All right, you select your box. You have the Shamrock Box, which is $59.99 per quarter. $199 a year, four times. Or you have the Four Leaf Clover Box, which is $149.99 per quarter, or $529.99 per year. Or the St. Patrick's Day, which is $369.99 per quarter, or $1,099.99 per year. If you have the St. Patty's Box, you basically get one entire box for free because it's a savings of $379. The Four Leaf Clover box, you save 
you get half a box for free. And if you do the Shamrock box, you're getting about a little over half of one box for free. So, I mean, there's good savings in buying it for the year, but the, we still gotta know what's in the box though, right? Looks like the first thing I have here is a calendar from Kilco Studios, K-I-L-C-O-E. Uh, I may very well mispronounce a bunch of this, so uh, please forgive me. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. This, this is all new to me. I'm super excited about it. So you got a little artwork here, some wildflowers and whatnot. They got the months and then they got the months in Irish. It's a very nice calendar. What is this? <laughs> okay, there, I guess there's more than one art little piece in here. But this is pretty funny actually. I like this. This is funny. It's got two guys sitting at the bar drinking Guinness. This guy says, I'm Patrick. This guy says, no, I'm Patrick. <laughs> it's just funny. Okay, it's just the one print. I just seen they had all these things here. You can get stuff like this from uh, Jamart Prints, J-A-M-A-R-T-P-R-I-N-T-S dot com. Use code JamJam Jam on our site to get 20% off your next order. I actually really love that little print. That's really, really funny. And I will 100% like, I think I'm gonna frame it. I'm gonna take a picture of this. This box is kind of open, so let's see what it is. This is the Irish Turf Peat Incense Cottage Burn Burner Set. An incense burner? Oh, nice. Okay. So, you get these little things, they look like brownies. Do not eat these. I'm almost positive you're not supposed to eat these. So, be very aware of that. Um, they look like brownies though. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? See, they look like brownies. <laughs> like little mini men. I've eaten a lot of brownies in my day, so a little porcelain cottage. And there's a rock here, which I think is just like a, yeah. Man, that is the stickiest dang tape. Uh, okay. So this is like your incense base here. It's got a little indent there. You take a piece of this, you drop it in there, you light it. And then you put your house little thing over it and it comes out the chimney. So the smoke will come out the chimney right here. I want to test this out, but people are sleeping and I don't know if it wake everybody up. Let me see what this smells like. Enjoy the distinctive smell of an Irish turf fire as the smoke wafts through your cottage chimney. It don't really smell like anything. So, it don't smell like brownies either. So, again, don't eat that. Um, I'm gonna not light this right now. I sure hope I don't set anything on fire. Okay, I'm just curious what a turf fire, a, yeah, a turf fire smells like. <laughs> Is it just like dirt and they wanted to sit here and watch you try and light dirt on fire? I'm just curious. Ow, that's hot. Honestly, it smells like the house is on fire. Okay. Make sure I didn't knock anything off on here. 
No, I think we're still good. I swear to God, Chris is gonna come in here and be like, "Stop the top fire!" She's gonna smell it. Women, they smell everything. Cottage is on fire. Hopefully, I don't burn the table. All right, moving on. McNutt of Donegal.com. Dude, this is nice. It's like a little throw blanket. Oh, that's a big one too. This would be a good camping little throw. <laughs> See, when you're really chilly, you just get this thing, throw it over you. I like it. I like it. All right. It's starting to get warmer weather here. All right, what is this? I've got a coffee mug. Sealed with IrishLove.com. This is the thatched Irish cottage. It's got the little college or cottage drawing on it. A little 3D plover. That's a very distinctive smell. <laughs> Let's see. What's this? Ooh. Irish oak cookies. I can have a cookie. 200 calories for two cookies. So I can have a cookie. I've lost like 10 pounds. So I don't need to be splurging on stuff, but at the same time, I've got to know what it tastes like. Please don't be unstoppable. That is delicious. Wow. I were so cookies. Kill bacon. Good job, guys. That's good. Folane. Traditional recipe whiskey marmalade. What? Oh, that is delicious. That is really good. Oranges, sugar, Irish whiskey, and fruit, uh, and fruit pectin. 13 ounces. That's awesome. There's like a bunch of like stuff floating around in there. That's delicious. You can definitely taste the whiskey, though. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is this? Ooh, some coasters. Coasters said Ireland's that way. No, it's two different things. So, I got one telling me Ireland is that way. And then you have just a teapot with a plant in it sitting in front of the window. Those are good coasters, though. Kind of want another cookie. <laughs> oh, what's this? Ooh, more whiskey jelly. <clears throat> Sun dried tomato and balsamic mustard. Made in Donegal. Boy, that is some weird looking stuff right there. Sunshine tomatoes. Balsamic vinegar. Huh. Yep, there's definitely vinegar in there. I don't know what that's for. I have to, we'll have to Google it or something. 
All right. We have Buley's Gold Blend Tea. 80 tea bags. I'll just leave that there. I don't really drink tea, but I'm, I'm up for trying. I drink sweet tea, like American sweet tea. I know. So American of me. Be holy crap. What the heck? Wow, that's heavy. Mullinger Mullinger Pewter. Handmade in Ireland. Both of them. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's a checkerboard. Dude, that's really nice too. Holy crap. That's really nice. So I guess these are my checkers. Oh yeah. Dude, this is really cool. I mean, this is the fanciest checker set I've ever seen in my life. These are like metal or something. Oh man. Oh, those are sick. Excellent job on the wrapping, guys. Seriously. I don't know which one's which. These ain't your mama's checkers. I mean, obviously they're not red and black, but they are like chrome and I guess black. And so yeah, you got a pimp checker set. Right there. I like it. That is retarded. that's ridiculous. And are they stackable? Yes. So you can still king people. That's nice. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Makes me really wonder what's in this one. I got checkers. Did I get a chest set? Or extra boards? I don't know. Oh my god. It's a chest set. Holy crap. Holy crap. I don't need to make room, guys. Oh my god. This is sick. What? What? Yeah, this is like, it's like pewter, obviously from the name of the company, you know, Mullinger Pewter. Oh man, the queen and the king looks like Thor. I think I remember how to set up a chessboard. It's been a while. You look like a pawn. Yeah, then you got the little, the, the little guys, they look like little roughnecks. So, of course, they're the pawns. Guys, this is so freaking cool. This is gonna be an awesome addition to my house. I mean, this will be a display item for me, 100%. This is just, this is insane how cool this is. I'm actually gonna turn one of my, maybe a couple of my boxes out there that were for knives and whatnot. I think I'm gonna transfer them into a case for these guys. Same as with those, those are like a dark pewter. 
whereas these are a chrome pewter. This is some of the coolest stuff that I've ever got in a box. That's over here. <laughs> nope, I'm Patrick. I knew I had the horses backwards. Okay, so on the MullingerPewter.com website, this is the Viking chess set with board price includes shipping 417 dollars wow <clears throat> they have a medieval chess set also which the characters look a little bit different it's also the same price that is i knew it was nice man i knew it was nice i just didn't know that nice <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to have to put this back up because I cannot let my girls anywhere near this. I'm curious about the damn checkers board. All right, here it is. It's $119. I was there and mommy came to the rescue. Yeah. She still wanted mommy, whatever. Hmm. I'm chopped liver. <laughs> no, that's cool. All right, so $117, $119.27 for this. $417 for that. That's crazy, man. I mean, that's 500 plus dollars just in like chess and checker sets. Now, given, not everybody needs this, you know, and you may order this and think, you know, I can't believe what I'm gonna do with chess and checkers. This is classy stuff. I mean, this is high end stuff. I mean, this thing, this is, this is heavy duty, very nice stuff. I would bet that it's all handmade. I may be wrong. A typical chess game becomes a richer experience when you're using our mythical Irish figurines, all crafted out of finest pewter, resulting with each piece being weighty, durable, and still elegant. One half of the set is darkened and polished to give a shiny finish, while the other half of the set is darkened and then brushed to leave a more dull finish, highlighting the beautiful detail. The king is three and a half inches high, and the pieces graduate to the pawn, which is 2.25 inches high. The wooden, black, and ivory color board complements the set, keeping a beautiful chess set. Keeping a beautiful chess set on your coffee table makes for an excellent living room centerpiece, as a challenge is always at hand. Handmade in Ireland, dude. This is just awesome. I, I can't even tell you. I am. I am thrilled. I never thought of myself. I mean, I play chess, and I play check. I play a lot of checkers. But I played chess in my day, and I'm 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 not bad. I mean, I'm no Bobby Fischer or nobody, but I mean, I do like to play the occasional jam, game of chess. But I remember as a kid, 
my mom and my stepdad, they had like a chess set that was made out of like marble. It was like glass. It was really, really awesome. And I just, I remember playing it. And I remember that my stepdad taught me how to play it. So the fact that I have a really cool chess set to be able to put into my house that I'm about to have, you know, I just remember that experience I had even with my stepdad. So it's kind of funny that I'm coming into a situation where I'm going to be a stepdad. So who knows? Maybe I can teach the girls how to play chess. Maybe they won't give a care. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a thought. It was something that entered my mind. So I am very excited to have this. This is amazing. So uh, that's it. That's all I got for you. If you're interested in this box, I will put a link in the description below and I will uh, also have a discount code, I think. Um, so if you're interested, check out the description below. Use my code, save yourself some cash. Even though, like, the, if you spent $369 on this box, you've got 500 plus right here. I'm impressed. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Uh, I really, I, I kind of hope I get another one. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, I wouldn't mind doing this box. I mean, I like it all, man. I mean, you got funny, you got weird, burning of dirt, whatever the heck that was. I don't, I don't know. It just, I don't. I don't know, it smells like I'm out in the woods that just got set on fire. That's what it smells like. Cookies, jam with whiskey, what that, the sun-dried tomato thing, I don't know. Uh, Buley's tea, I don't, maybe I'll try and I'll put some sugar in it, maybe it'll be good. And a couple little place settings and a mug. I'm, this is right here is not for me, but uh, Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't. In the comments below. Like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And subscribe. I'm out. That is amazing. Babe? Yeah. Are you cooking something? No. <laughs> I told you she'd smell it. No, come what here. What is that? Come here. Uh-uh, I'm not... I'm not gonna put you on film. Okay. God, it's awful. <laughs> it's this. It's an instant burning little house. And it's called Turf Peat Incense Cottage Burner Set. It's a, the the... The distinctive smell of an Irish turf fire. It's distinctive. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna wake up the whole house, but I said I had to figure out what the hell it was. It looks like little brownies in the package. Yeah, it don't smell good. I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't think you would. I didn't like it the whole time I said there smelling it. We can I put was other. In there and we can put other incense in it. But it smokes out of the chimney. That's cute. Look but not this. the smell. Look at this. That's really cool. That needs to go on like a display or something. Like I've been saying, you know, I Ooh, like, spray that that right? you like <laughs> <laughs> Babe, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a turf fire. It's from the native land of Ireland. It's from the native Ireland land, baby. You can't just be all. I mean, no, I get it, but. Yeah, I'm gonna be putting these in a. Uh, I'm gonna have to make them their own little box. So if he is cooking, that's about what I'd expect it to smell like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wanna wake me up? That's how you do it. Love you. Love you.